in a science classroom based on inquiry principles and with a commitment to engendering 21st century learning skills, there's little space for the science notebook of old. The ones where students dutifully transcribed information the teacher spoon-fed them and wordly handed in for assessment at the end of each unit. No. The science notebook of the inquiry-based classroom should be a place where students are free to work out scientific concepts using organizing and recording strategies they have chosen themselves. The teacher's job then becomes one of giving students that range of organizing and recording tools and letting them loose to use them during their scientific inquiries. The following are some of the organizational strategies that science teachers should teach or model for their students. Making technical drawings or diagrams with labels. These should be detailed drawings based on close observation of the structure of the object being observed. The teacher might present pictures from science books or model drawing their own while speaking aloud to help the class understand the criteria for creating good technical drawing. Notes and lists. These should be used to know things quickly, especially useful during observations where time is a factor. Charts, tables and graphs. Having an array of ways to organize data will help students to present and make sense of their findings. Written observations. More detailed accounts using full sentences are useful to students when they need to communicate complex phenomena that cannot be easily summed up in a list or chart. Rather than using the notebooks as summative assessments, teachers can better employ them for diagnostic or formative purposes. Before beginning a unit, students might record what they think they already know about a subject or any questions they have, information that would be valuable to the teacher when planning. Notebook drawings can also be used diagnostically and formatively. By asking students to draw a flower, insect, or a human organ at the beginning of a unit of study, and then again near the end, the teacher can get clear visual data as to how much the students have learned about the structures of these objects. The notebook in the 21st century science classroom should empower students by giving them both control of their learning and personally meaningful tools for recording it.